right, welcome to the video guys. Um, today we're going to be working on the skyline. We're going to be doing the head studs today and hook up, finish hooking up the turbo side, water lines, the oil lines, downpipe, all that stuff. Got to figure out where we're going to put the uh, power steam reservoir, where we're going to put that exactly, I don't know yet. Got to figure out these belts real quick, put in the radiator, the fans, hook up the fans, hook up the fuel. We've got a lot to do, but today is finalizing finishing up the skyline it, this thing is pretty close to getting done so got to do the head studs which I'm um, not sure if we're gonna do that first but probably get on the belt first and we'll go from there but hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let's get to it all right so I'm gonna start on the head bolts so to take off the head bolts gotta take off all the valve covers so I need the Phillips by impact take them all off all the bolts on the sides take off the center cover to get into the middle bolts and then get those covers off oh crap I need a battery before I take them off I want to take off the timing cover get that out the way and let's do that I used to say I was sincere Baby I used to say I was sincere Baby I used to say I was sincere Here's the head bolts Nuts Washers all ARP. Tighten them down three different times, one at 50, one at 75, and the last one at 105 is what ARP recommends. Darling, you sent me, I know you sent me, 50. Darling, you All right, so I'm just gonna double check all of them. Just make sure they're all at 105 foot-pounds of torque. got all that put back together now I just put on one of the belts I had to go to O'Reilly's and get a set of smaller belts because it turns out that this harmonic balancer is smaller that's the Ross performance harmonic balancer and compared to the stock one it's uh, a little bit smaller we had to get this one because I don't know if you guys remember taking out the stock one with the uh, pulley puller it broke the, the actual harmonic balancer on the corner or whatever but we got these gates one this one just fit, fit perfectly for the um, for the water pump and alternator. Now I got this one for the power steering pump. 
and then I got the other one for the AC compressor as well and I got an AC pulley hopefully it works it's so hard to find parts for these cars if this works if not I have to figure something else out but the pulley that we got for the AC compressor turns out that the hole is way too big for the bolt that is on the car if I put this in you can see it has all that wiggle room um, O'Reilly did have another one that was uh, smaller than this seems like it was about this size so I'm gonna go run to the store real quick and go get that all right so I got the uh, AC belt in I was able to get a pulley from some of the um, extra Nissan motor parts that we have laying around. That's actually from a Z32 300ZX and it worked perfect. So I got that pulley. I used the belt that I was going to use on the power steering so I, I need to go get another belt for the power steering. The same one as this because the existing one was too big. So two belts down, one to go. That's freaking good. Awesome. Finally got that out of the way. Got all that out of the way. We're gonna work on doing the water lines right now real quick. Get that out the way, oil lines. Lines cut. Time to put it in. What is that for the other one? You kind of put tape to hold it in place. And then uh, measure the other one. And then while you put it in, I'll cut it. lines and water lines are in and fully tightened down just gotta tighten down this one banjo bolt on the turbo and it's good to go now time for the downpipe here where's this 21 millimeter the bolts on the turbo that's good all right all those are done let's do this baby make a progress today Water line's gonna be in the way. Yep, I'm gonna have to push it out. Down pipe in. <laughs> 